My bad, it broke. I didn't even notice. My bad, my bad. It's all good though, we'll keep going. I know, I know. What's uh is that a grenade? Huh? What's that on the side? Uh, a small something for the lost. Uh, she's clearly taunting us. It's a grenade! Wait, that's so dope. Advertisements everywhere. It's about time I got in touch with their trade commissioner. Where are you going, benefactors? Our priority now is to find anything that could lead us to Kafka. My bad. Can't go that way. Downy cloud and opalescent moon are set in twain by the seals multitudinous. Neither road nor skiff shall cross the gulf and carry me to thee. Huh? Uh, thanks to the synesthesia beacon, I can understand the characters, but I don't get what any of it means. Is this something Kafka left behind? Seems like a love poem to me. L love poem? Quick, put it back. <laughs> what? this a jade seal used by the shipwrights it opens various passages it looks like someone used it and then destroyed it possibly kafka we should have enough clues here to get deeding on the move no time to lose let's give him the scent and let him lead the way go doggo go who would have thought I think we've rounded up all our suspicious clues, but did Kafka leave them behind on accident or on purpose? Uh, she sure did put a lot of work into this gag, and I think we're the punchline. Uh, making us run around like jerks? I bet she's loving this. I can almost hear her whispering, come and get me. Whoa. Don't forget, she's on the IPC's most wanted list. A fugitive that nobody can seem to pin down. Now we've become her prey while she stalks us in the shadows. Let's go, benefactors. Time is of the essence. We must be close. No, dog, no! Oh, hi there. How'd you do that? All right. She hits. A sharp scythe needs targets. Okay. What a headache. What? Fighting is meaningless. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Shit. I didn't do it fast enough. My turn ended. Oh, no. We got it. This will strengthen our position. Uh... Where 
Where did it go? Oh, when the trace of the hunt is the stars, the hunter better think twice. It might mean the tables have turned. Kafka. These cloud knights aren't Mara struck. What did you do to them? Just a little persuasion to get them to listen to me. But you know all about that already, don't you? <laughs> what a hassle. This place is too far for the diviner. See you up ahead. Oh. Bah. No interest in con the truth of life and death revealed in an instant. The sanctuary is but a vision. That'll take more than medicine nap time. Hey. Don't mess with me. I'll end your misery. I'll free you from disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Yo, what's up? Thank you for the happy birthday wishes. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, I had a good one. I hung out with family. It's pretty chill, but kind of the way I enjoy it. Good time. Uh, that way? No, this way. We're just grinding through uh, Honkai story now. Too late to repent. Time for a shot. Love that. Sometimes all you need. How old did I turn? Twenty six. We're moving up and we're moving up there. We caught them unawares. Might as well clear some of these out, I guess. I don't think you you don't have to like clear ads, but I guess it's not like not a whole lot of reason not to. What a headache. I'll free you from your chain. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusion. Twenty six ain't old? Nah. I agree. We're still chilling. Kafka, God bless. <laughs> so close and yet so far, you'll have to pick up the pace. We went to like a sushi place. It was pretty good. Went with my family. Uh, there's no way through here. Yeah, nothing too fancy, but to just hanging out. Doors, Paul, do you were invited. Hey, <laughs> My bad, man. No, come back, Kafka. Yeah. Oh, it's really hard to see. <laughs> Oh, 
What the? What am I doing here? Oh, I understand. I get it, I get it. Time well spent. Hmm. The area is so interesting. I don't know if I need to do that. <laughs> His little feet, bro. <laughs> keep things pretty straightforward I just want to make story progress that's the goal of the night if she gave him the chance golden Welcome, Astral Expressors. Looks like you caught me. You're finished, yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> ah. Admit it, Kafka. You planned for us to come here. I didn't plan anything. It was the future. We interfere on countless future possibilities and make the best future a reality. You speak too highly of us, Welt. The Stellaron Hunters are merely Destiny's slaves. <laughs> Best future? Best for who? As if you'd consider anyone but yourself. If I said best for the universe, would you believe me? <laughs> Best for me, naturally. <laughs> We're taking you to see the General of the Law Fool. You can profess your innocence all you like, but the General will decide your fate. Oh, thanks. But no thanks. I can't stand moving at someone else's pace. We don't have much time. If I were you, I'd make a move before it's too late. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, we're gaming. <sighs> There's protein at King's. Clemency? Never heard of it. Only a scratch. Ready? How does that feel? No, I needed that guy. Oh, shit. <laughs> Time for a shot. <laughs> You have my gratitude. Let me end your misery. 
misery. Shit. <laughs> I'll free you from your chains. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. <laughs> Let me end your misery. Step aside. Zoning out. Uh, I can do Not so fast. Is that all? Okay, later. Oh my god, he's going through it. Oh, that's the dummy pressure right there. Bro. Alright, man, I'll talk to y'all later. Mm. Favor the vigor. The truth of life and death revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision. <laughs> Something for everybody. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. The time is now. In the name of Landau, years of cold hardens the will. We shall never fall. I want to hold all till break. Nope, need her. My blicky. All better now. What a headache. Step aside. I have no No, you get all Fuck Zoning out. I can help. You don't want from your chains. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. The truth of life and death revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision. Not so fast. One Kafka down. I saw I opened our machine like collapse and he died thirty six times an hour. Rudimentary. Your every move has been foreseen by the Omnisia. What in the rebellion? I heard Dill say on Joe's street. Fushwin, Divination Commission. <laughs> I'll be taking the criminal. I'm, I'm gonna sit I'm gonna play like, uh. Greetings, crew of the Astral street. Express. This is our first encounter. Though, given that I have encountered you in Foresight, no, perhaps no. I should say the second. I am Fu Xuan, Master Diviner at the Divination Commission and one of the six charioteers. He's so tiny. Friends ought to be received with fine wine. But alas, the heavens, earth, and body are not aligned for such an occasion. You'll allow for a postponement of the usual formalities, I trust? We should begin with the matter at hand. What the actual heck is she saying? <clears throat> if the method of my speech is offensive to you, you need but say. Nah, you get an assignment from General Jing Yuan to arrest the Stellaron Hunter. Thank you, Diviner, for coming to our aid, but we must escort the fugitive to the General. An essential. I hold a proclamation from the general here, if you care to see. 
Upon detaining the Stellaron Hunter, questioning and all further arrangements are to be undertaken by the Divination Commission. Hmm. <laughs> Did the General just spare us a walk with Kafka? I knew he was a good guy. Understood. However, the General uh -huh. promised that all intel would be shared with us. We have a right to know anything that Kafka divulges. Oh? That guy. Can I go one day without him throwing me under the... We won't make things any more complicated than they need to be. We just want to listen in on the questioning. Very well. Urgency demands fluidity. The three of you shall accompany me to the Divination Commission. Okay! Uh, can't we do the questioning here? The Stellaron Hunters are slippery. What if she makes a break for it? March knows. While I am here, she will not escape. One moment, right? Only the Divination Commission has the methods to make her talk and bring the truth to light. The time has arrived. We must depart. Please proceed. Let's disembark here, benefactors. Look how small she is. I may live in relative seclusion, but I can recognize my own territory. What does that mean? Why did you bring us here? Does this look like the Divination Commission to you? No need to yell, Master Diviner. The Meridian Pin is malfunctioning, and I couldn't find the entrance to the Delve. I wanted to get us straight to our destination, but this is the only place I could dock the Star Skiff. Look, Exalting Sanctum. This is a safe place. Let's just walk the rest of the way from here. Oh God, we're all gonna die. Oh, angry child. Our hexagrammatic position is fluctuating between the marsh and water trigrams. The vessel is stranded and the way is blocked. I heard the Sienjo can tell your fortune. Is that how they do it? Anyone can count yeah. on their fingers. Quantum entanglements is interesting. Hey, hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm a layman. Why don't you enlighten me, O connoisseur? <laughs> I just performed some quick divination, and the hexagram is consistent with the current predicament. Starship cannot take us to the divination commission today. Alas, without me in charge to handle the Stellaron crisis. I dare not even imagine the kind of mess the commission must be in. It's true. The Divination Commission really can't go a single day without Lady Fu. Uh, that's why you have to develop your talent pool. Otherwise, everything falls apart when you go on vacation. Why is her name March 7th? Good question. Since you are clearly in the commission's eternal affairs, I shall absolve you of your ridiculous remarks. I'm going ahead to make some inquiries. Goodbye. That's a big talk for four foot nothing. Hey, what about Kafka? Where's yeah, Kafka? Yeah, yeah. They found her in ice on March 7th, so they named her March 7th. I wouldn't have gone with that either. This is Jing Yuan's order. Um, you might not want to hear this, but your general gave us his word. We have to be present. Interesting, I agree. You think too little of me. My word is my bond. I will stick to my promise even if this delve collapses. That's very come unlikely, on. by the way. Come on, come on. To have this prisoner speak, the commission must resort to unconventional means. The nature of which is confidential and cannot be disclosed. Forgive me. But I can assure you that the questioning will not begin until yeah. you arrive. Even if that means wasting precious time. I have appointed someone to wait for you in front of Exalting Sanctum Plaza. Once we've consolidated our internal affairs, you will be brought into the Divination Commission. Oh, oh hey, 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 hey. Be patient. Yeah, right. uh, okay. Let's go horse, horse. We trust you. 
Bench, 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 bench. There goes that sassy child. Oh, I think I offended someone again. Uh, don't start. Fight me. Don't take it to heart, March. Miss Fushen seems like a reasonable lady. I'm sure she's not angry with you. Really? I thought she was I oh, see. As I see is Don Hyung. <laughs> Don Hung's not icy. He's nerdy. Bro. Okay, enough chit chat. I reckon the divination commission could be a while. Let's take a look around. Yeah. Oh, that star skiff was pretty cool. There must be loads of interesting things in Exalting Sanctum. Exploration. When we confronted Kafka, she seemed certain that Fu Shen would show up. The leader of the Stellaron Hunters is called Elio. No one knows who he is or what he looks like. Only that the Interastral Peace Corporation calls him Destiny's Slave. It's said that he has the power to foresee possibilities. According to Herta, the corporation believes Elio can see the temporal branching of infinite possibilities, which is very much like being able to predict the future. Tight. In fact, it may even be superior. If the rumors are true, every seemingly meaningless action taken by the Stellaron Hunters may actually be a choice based on those possibilities. Which would include what they did to you. Ah. For the sake of this discussion, yes, I think so. But who is it? All of us are future variables, our choices solidifying reality. The future is nothing incredible either, just a fog waiting for us to make a decision. Back to the matter at hand. Kafka. Yes, it's strange for a fugitive to give themselves up, but a fugitive who can see the future? For her, perhaps that was the way it was always going to be. But is she really as calm as she seems? The future holds almost infinite possibilities, after all. I suspect she has proof that she has nothing to do with the Stellaron Crisis. Or perhaps something is supposed to transpire during the Divination Commission's interrogation. Something that would allow her window... Why did the Stellaron Hunters go to such lengths to bring us here? What is the future that destiny sees behind this course of action? It's fucked up. All right, March. I need to talk to someone with head empty. <clears throat> the nature of which is confidential yep, that's and cannot you. be disclosed. Oh, is that a Sienjo motto or something? First the Skyfaring Commission, now the Divination Commission. They're all so secretive. Oh, the General's the only friendly face here. I hate to admit it, but I'm even starting to miss Sampo. Oh, hold up. I must be losing my mind. <laughs> nope. I'll take this Yenjo over that blue haired boar any day. Oh, we've gone from being chased through every street in Bellabog to waiting on every corner in the Sienjo. <sighs> Chasing and waiting. Maybe that's what life's all about. Damn, spitting. Good idea. Let's go. Oh, wait a minute. Clear my head of what? You're right. Nothing up there. Hey, fancy seeing you here. What does that mean? I've been here the whole time. Oh, did you want a tour of Exalting Sanctum? <laughs> oh, the last time I came here on a star skiff was, well, let me think, about 20 years ago now. I've been on the road for so long that I've started to forget the sights and sounds of the Sienjo. All I remember is that this is a good place to while away the days. Still, many delves have changed beyond recognition since the arrival of the Stellaron. 
Who knows? She tends to make decisions based on the results of her divinations, as opposed to what others might be thinking. If she doesn't want to reveal the Commission's secrets, then you have no choice but to wait. The General entrusted the Master Diviner with the interrogation of the fugitive because he has faith in her ability to manage the situation. As one of the six charioteers, she is certainly capable. Why do you think Kafka surrendered at the mere sight of her back in Stargazer Navalia? Uh-huh. You never asked what the Skyfaring Commission does. I suppose not all commissions are created equal. Anyway, if you must know, the Divination Commission is responsible for gathering intelligence, devising strategies, and performing divination. Maybe there's more to it? It's not like I would know. I'm a mere amicassiter. Don't worry. Diviner Fu seems confident about getting Kafka to talk. If I were you, I'd just sit back and watch her do her thing. If you're bored, you could go and find the messenger from the Divination Commission. Alright. Uh, that's the plaza. But... I can't see anyone waiting for us. Should we look around? I'm not a mechanic. What in the... Oh, this is cool. What's going on with him? Everybody stay back! Oh, violent! Another small child that appears. Alright. Too late to repent. What? Hope you're prepared. Wheel forged in ice. Never falters. So you are afraid of me. I'll end your misery. I'll free you from your chains. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Uh, that'll teach you a lesson. Ready to lie down now? Dragon child. Thanks for helping to stabilize the patients. Your assertive sedation techniques are quite effective. Beat the ass. Assertive sedation techniques? Uh, does she mean beating people up? That's what I said. However, these cloud knights were already sick. And now they're injured too. I've got to bandage up their wounds, realign their bones. Jesus. As if I didn't have enough on my plate. Where did you come from, little one? Is your dad around? Man, we're really good at offending people. I don't have a dad. Jesus! Uh, what about your mom? I don't have a mom. Marge. Marge, you're setting us up for failure here. I get it. You think because I'm small, you must be a runaway child. <laughs> Welcome to the Xian Show, my short lived outsider friend. One shot, one shot. Appearances can be deceiving here. The Vidyadara race is self reincarnating. No mama dad required. Huh. Convenient. I've been studying the art of healing ever since I cast off my old shell. You're looking at a recognized, practicing, dedicated doctor. Bellabog kids are making snowmen. <laughs> while children here are writing prescriptions. Man. Things haven't been very peaceful in the lawful recently. Make sure you don't go running around, right? Well, your general gave us an errand, 
so I'm afraid we have to. Shot. Hmm. No, nothing. Well, seeing as you saved me just now, if you're unlucky enough to acquire any breaks or sprains, I'll treat you for free. As for medicine, I'll give you a 20% discount. We take that. I just lost my insurance. people on the law floor are waiting for an appointment with me you should count this as a blessing if i hadn't left my purse at home okay, i wouldn't have to <laughs> enough of that i have patience to see orange, orange, orange our little miracle worker seems very different from everyone else around don't you think mr yang so this is the videodera i've only ever read about them they're known as the dragon race. Not hard to see why. It's the tail. Do I just have to look for them? My apologies. I'm an orderly from the realm keeping commission. Judging by your. I mean, people are running in. Xian Zhou is currently caught in unusual circumstances. But the Cloud Knights will resolve the issues as soon as possible. For safety reasons, please stay in your residence and refrain from calling out for the time being. Yeah, it's not going to work, but. If the port is still open, I would suggest you take a boat to Starskiff Haven right away. Though, I heard the route may have been. Temporarily suspended. Oh, that oh. reminds me. I have a friend with a close, star close, close. and a travel permit. He could help you and your friends get over quickly. The price is fair and negotiable. What do you think? Well, now, you must be quite special. Hey, don't spread this around, but this isn't some small scale maintenance drill. The general has sent the Cloud Knights to check for hidden dangers. Mm. You may not need it right now, but if there's any help I can give you, come to me anytime. Yeah. Oh, my bad. The best I can do. What's that supposed to mean? Doctors don't give up that easily. What else am I supposed to do? The route back to the Alchemy Commission has disappeared, and we're in the field without the right medicine or supplies. Besides, we have no record of this disease at all. These symptoms are consistent with someone about to be stricken with Mara. According to his medical record, this man is barely over 200 years old. What the? He just joined the Cloud Knights. How can he possibly be Mara struck? Why don't you take another look? It goes on like this. The judges of the Ten Lords Commission will have to come out and clean up this mess. Okay. That was terrifying. Thank goodness the Vidyatara Dragon Lady was saved. Yes, that child's usually hidden away. What's she doing out here? Okay, profoundly unhelpful. Do you know how to fix What's up here, What's up here? I heard the knights affected by the evil. Don't scare yourself. The Alchemy Commission's Dragon Lady can cure anything. Oh God, it was so short. Where's, where's my helpful dog when I need him? Everyone, please remain calm. This is an announcement from the Realm Keeping Commission General Bureau. If you feel unwell, please re Oh, uh, we will be distributing a bag of protein rice and emergency protein rice. To you. you can collect the supplies from me in person, or the commission can deliver them to I heard there's a problem with their meridian pin. What does that mean? The miners and stargazers managed to escape the delve. Many of them were terrified. They were muttering about. It's all, it's all, it's all. Do you have friends trapped in the delve? If you're worried about them, find a diviner and see if they can tell you what happened. Please register with your Jade Adams bracelet. Oh, you must be an outsider. I see. Please sign here. I don't want to say it's all in a day's work, but I've been here for 12 hours already. 
when will this end? Fun! Excuse me, miss. Hold on a moment. It was only thanks to your help earlier that the dragon lady and those exalting sanctum residents got away unscathed. Dragon lady. You don't remember? You dealt with those Mara struck knights in the nick of time. I saw it. A friend in the Skyfaring Commission told me the general commissioned guests to deal with the troubles on the Lothu. You must be the guests. If you don't mind, I hope you can take the time to come to the Realm Keeping Commission. I'd like to talk to you about the issues Exalting Sanctum is currently facing. Okay. Something to do. Oh no. I'm okay. What the? Oh. Oh. Uh, okay. If the shipping passages in Cloudfort changed even a little, the entire I've had one bullet be drastically bullet altered. Bullet. Do you two know the way? I do not. Okay, fair. <laughs> came this way. I know it like the back of my hand. Just follow me. All right. Follow the chicken lady. Um, so, silent but deadly. Let me know when you're ready and we can set off. I like that. It's on the back. Chris, under me, under. Never mind. I don't like it anymore. Silent but deadly. Are you sure that nickname isn't annoying you? It's getting there. It's good to have a sense of humor. Hmm? Uh, go ahead. I'll tell you everything I know. I heard they found an antimatter legion bomb. Out of safety, they locked down the entire yeah. ship. They'll only reopen it after they've removed the bomb. I don't know if all that's true, though. Anyway, the higher-ups didn't say anything. They just got me to evacuate the civilians at Cloudfort. Nope, I met him when I met you. But yeah, now that you mention it, maybe I did see him somewhere. He seems a bit familiar. Thus. Where would that have been? Wait. Third Impact reference? I think they're both in Third Impact. Oh. There's not much to talk about. Not that long ago. But I've been receiving strict Cloud Knight military training since I was a child. My parents are both famous on the Yachin. I wouldn't be here otherwise. They've been training me ever since I was born. Holy. Don't look down on me just because I'm a new recruit. Yep. Have you been there before? I feel the Yaoqin and the Lafu have different characteristics. I might be a Lafu Cloud Knight now, but I still think the Yaching is better. For example, when it comes to leadership, I don't think General Ching Yuan is as reliable as our Madam General back on the Yaoqing. Uh, oh boy. Oh, actually, forget about the last sentence. Just pretend I never said it. Su Shang, what are you doing here? I have orders to evacuate civilians. See these two behind me? I need to get them out of here quickly. It's too dangerous. You can say that again. Some comrades were injured by monsters in the vicinity. They only just made it out. Oh. I'm taking up the rear. I should be out of here soon. You guys should hurry. All right. On your arm. But deadly. No, right. Shout if you see any danger. Oh, 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 oh. Don't think just because you know a move or two, you can charge off by yourself. 
What is this? Oh, oh, this is where we were. I see. Interesting conflict. So you are afraid of what? I'll free you from your chains. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. A sharp scythe needs target. Cloud Knight stricken with Mara. How could the mutations get this bad? Is the Stellaron exerting an effect? Okay. There's supposed to be a passage. Why can't I see it? Somebody used the Cloud Forward control panel to block the road with containers. Does he have a coffin? What is this? Uh, who did this? I'm terrible with machines and stuff. Hold on. How do you know? I'm a traveling merchant. I've been here many times. No. For a Show me my relics. My relics are no not set up. I'm not even done with the story. I told you. I was only just I'm basically just getting talents up. I don't come here very often. Fake Honkai fan? Fuck off. What do I look like? I think I got all the time in the world. The best I got. I've got one team. They're not even at 60 yet. Shit. Don Hong's still at 5-5. Five five. Currently working on Pella. And Sushang. Jepard, yeah, I, I got him from the first, whatever the first standard banner was. I do have Zila. And let me tell you, we are prepped. We're chilling. No, no Jing Yuan. We hold. Hold. 1.2 is going to be fucked up. See, Jack, you gotta be smart. If I have Zila, I don't really need Jingguan. Control panel? Where is the control panel? Did I not just hit that shit? Is that the one? He's so much more fun? I disagree. He's just like passive. Oh. You just stack attack so so the passive can like do a super attack. It's like fine. They both kind of do the same thing though. And Celo looks cooler. And is an impact. If you're an impact, I immediately like you more. What am I doing? This way. Sexy. He hit so hard and shreds shields for breakfast. Good lord. <laughs> That's. You are right. He probably does all that. <laughs> uh, how should I do this? The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break. Yep. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Like, I don't know, man. Five attacks in a row on in a single turn 
while still having the speed that she's up next on my rotation, it's pretty good. I think they're pretty much the same in terms of power level. So at that point, it's personal preference. Don't hesitate. But I will say though, because of Silver Wolf, I'm glad I'm, I got Zila. But I mean, Silver Wolf will be fine. Switching one too. Brother, I am not paying attention to doing this shit. Enemies ahead. Up for oh, yeah. Alright. Silver Wolf, I sleep? I think she looks really good. Great. I really want to use her with, like, a Sila Sushong Natasha comp. As long as Natasha can solo. Heal, I think that comp's really good, but it's very skill point hungry. Fighting is meaningless. Pyro unit five star? Again, Himiko? <laughs> Are we getting a pyro five star? Who, who am I missing? That's not that bitch. This ends here. This is the one I killed, right? Okay. In the name of Landau, a will forged in ice. Never falters. You want one so bad? You want Himiko so okay, hold on. I'm just making sure I'm not confused here. You want Himiko so bad, or you want a good five-star pyro really bad? Is Himiko good? I actually don't think Himiko's that good, but I could be wrong. I'll free you from your Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Check. Bro, wait, we wait, wait, the first map, the first map we had one. And then the second map, they're they're America. What do you say, America? I should make my Don Hyung stronger. With a level of his relics. I want to use Sushong. I want to use Funny Chicken Girl. Me, me, sir, me. Thank 
goodness, there's one star skip left. What? Where? Where does it go? Judging by where it stopped, it must be heading for Central Star Skip Haven. Nice. We'll be safe there. <laughs> Come on, let's climb aboard. Like Gold Lewis looking ass. I really want to know what this thing even is. Damn, he's tall. Let's hurry. Please do. Not really. I've just seen them before. That's all. Oh. What makes you ask that, young master? I'm happy as long as I get to leave this place. <laughs> I'm not a very interesting person. Well, it reminds me of like fucking Castlevania. Day, just taking it one step at a time. Thankfully, as a registered merchant on the Xianzhou, I get a discount on all my expenses. In that regard, it makes sense for me to stay a little longer. <laughs> Miss Sushang said she could show me around if I find myself unable to leave. Okay. I had some more trading to do on the other Xianzhou ships, but my main appointment was with Miss Ting Yun of the Merchant Guild. We had a business deal to discuss, but I fear it will no longer go ahead. Most of the deals won't be particularly profitable. The IPC takes the majority. There's only one that might be worth the journey. A direct trade with the Fong Hu. Of course. Okay. Let's hurry and get on the star skip. Now, hold on, hold on, I gotta talk. Mm -hmm. Something else? I don't know. I think we should be okay. Let's get out of here first and talk about it when we're in the clear. There should be a dedicated evacuation team waiting for us. You can go with them. Ah, uh, not the best time. No need to thank me. Just a cloud knight doing her job. Um, that depends on the higher ups. If there's still civilians to evacuate, then I'll need to come back. Okay, but think fast. Vamos. Easy. Let's take it in turns. You what rest. the? Where am I? Hey, I'll, I'll get, I'll get. I saw a chest. I noticed it too late. Haha! <laughs> I need, I need, I need, I need. Drop by the rail. Easy. What the? One bet, one, one, one. Oh, that's right. Yeah, forgive me what? forgetfulness. Glad you came. It's great to have one of the general's distinguished guests helping us out. My realm keeping commission colleagues failed to provide adequate care for the dragon lady. I'd like to thank you on behalf of all of them for rescuing her back in Exulting Sanctum Plaza. I got you. As I'm sure you're aware, symptoms of Mara have been spreading ever since the Stellaron incident occurred. Thanks to the Ten Lords Commission, being stricken with Mara Anyone had long in? since become a terrifying but avoidable fate for Sienjo natives. And the puzzling thing is that despite the Commission's protection, we're now seeing an increase. More and more citizens, in particular those dealing with Probably. great risks and stress like the Cloud Knights, are becoming stricken with Mara. Moreover, the Mara struck have taken on a horrifying appearance. As if they're turning into some sort of monster. And this certainly differs from what I thought I knew about the illness. We wouldn't have the audacity to trouble you with that. The General has a plan to suppress the illness. You're a capable person. 
and since the general brother you are talking slow it's only if you come across any clues remember to inform the realm keeping commission straight away my colleagues and i will handle any situation with haste and to the best of our ability speaking of which have you made any discoveries so far what the And open. And one bullet, one bullet. I, I read the letter. I'll be honest with you. I've got no idea how to handle this problem. It's beyond the Realm Keeping Commission's jurisdiction. I contacted the Seat of Divine Foresight, which is overseen by the General. Allow me to introduce oh Madam Ching Zhu. General Jing Yuan's chief counselor. Huh. I think it'll be easier if she explains the letter to you. God, I have to walk over her to her and talk to her. I read the letter you obtained from the Mara Struck. While the Cloud Knights were searching for the Stellaron's whereabouts, I was carrying out the general's orders. That's a bullet, right? Tracking down clues on the Mara Struck. Thanks to your efforts, we now have a lead. To an outsider. This letter appears to be nothing more than good news detailing a recovery from a chronic illness. However, what is actually being discussed is a violation of the ten unpardonable sins. Conspiracy. I don't know what's going on. Correct. The term merciful medicus is one of respect. One that any law-abiding citizen of the Alliance would never dare utter. It refers to none other than the enemy of the people of the Xianzhou. The one we now call the Plague's Author. The Eon of Abundance. Yao Shi. Nice. The author of this letter is likely the Marastruck you defeated. My guess is he was led astray and poisoned while under the pretext of being cured. You saw how he ended up. Okay. Such actions remind me of an organization that was eradicated from the Sienjo a thousand years ago. The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. They were disciples of the abundance that sought to restore the way of immortality by unearthing a forbidden remedial form. It's hard to believe that a group that was wiped out so long ago would suddenly rear its head and create chaos once more. The seat of divine foresight needs to learn all it can about this organization's status okay. before the situation reaches a point of no return. If you come across any similar clues about the disciples of Sanctus, Medicus, come and find me at the seat of divine foresight. These kinds of first hand accounts are exactly what we require. Okay, don't worry. The Seed of Divine Foresight always rewards those who contribute to our efforts. I recently received some intel. It seems that certain individuals are taking advantage of the current chaos to lure in outworlders around exalted go back, go back, go back, go. Maybe you could start there? We sent an undercover investigator out a few months ago. They provided us with a rough idea of the situation. Unfortunately, it seems suspicions were aroused. We lost contact with the agent. I suspect he was discovered. He they got him. Fresh face in the Lafu, and an outworld. Oh, I would feel more at ease if I could leave this matter with you. All right. How did I get here? Job by the realm keeping commission. How the fuck? Need to extract or clean to your star skip service. <laughs> Just no three way. merchants here. What the? Oh, yeah. That's funny. I don't believe in ghosts. Vicious person. 
I'm on corner, I'm on the opening. Huh, I got VR. Skip service. <laughs> Look no further. Solid water. Come here, come here, me, come here. Three, three, three. three. No, fuck. Excuse me. Guest from another world, please spare me a moment of your time. Do you yearn for immortality? What the fuck, man? I just sat down. I yearn for power. I understand. Eternal life is indeed a kind of power, wouldn't you no. say? No. Uh, well, not much can be done for you then, sister. Don't call me that. <laughs> what a peculiar person you are. I'll tell it to you straight. To Outworlders, I offer the chance of immortality. But perhaps someone like you would be better off joining the Antimatter Legion. Regardless Jesus. of what you choose, let's keep our voices down, eh? This isn't the kind. Before you can grasp absolute power, you must yearn for immortality, don't you think? The problem is that the Xianzhou Alliance doesn't care one bit about the well being of short life species. They stubbornly blockade the glorious path to immortality. My name is Green Hibiscus. Your name is Green Hibiscus? In hopes of a fated encounter with one such as yourself. One who is also on the road to immortality. What do you say? How about we find a more suitable spot to talk about all this? Imagine being an immortal with a name like Green Hibiscus. Let's make haste. There are too many people here to linger. Here we are. This is the place. Relax. By the mercy of Sanctus Medicus, I will not harm you. Allow me to reintroduce myself. I am a member of the Disciples of Sanctus. The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus is a devout group. Holding firm in their belief that Merciful Medicus is the one ultimate fate. As followers, we refer to ourselves as disciples, dedicated to our cause. If you wish to gain the means to immortality, then you must become a disciple. But to become a disciple, you must first pass several small trials. Please excuse me. Our expansion has unfortunately attracted the attention of those devilish archer followers. If we are not careful, the co No need to be concerned about him. Much like yourself, he is here to undergo the trials. Trials? What you seek, you will surely find. Merciful Medicus is magnanimous. They do not lightly refuse a prayer. As such, the initiation trials for the disciples of Sanctus Medicus are nothing arduous. All you must do is transcribe this copy of Thousand huh? Hands of Merciful Medicus' Salvation 500 times by hand. This, this scripture is central to the disciples. You must maintain a pious heart during the transcription. It would be best if you could memorize the text. Of course, this guy. is but the first trial. Once you have been... 500 times. Old rules dictated that the text be copied 50,000 times. 
I myself undertook such a feat. Nowadays, the master. Okay. Because that's my life now. How did I get here? All right. Okay. Right there, right there, right there. One shot, one shot. <sighs> Took you long enough. I'm I Jenny. Jenny. You? You're General Jing Yuan's honored guest. Yep, that's me. Jim Yan. Ugh, is this really the time for jokes of that quality? You're here undercover, right? Well, so am I. Okay. I'm a knight from the Exalting Sanctum Garrison. That green hibiscus has been sneaking around spreading heretical lies for a while now. That's why I'm here. To spy on him. They were suspicious of me as soon as I arrived. It took a lot of effort to make them believe I wanted to become a disciple. He's a bully. He's a... <laughs> I have my reasoning. Cults like this want to recruit people with influence in law and order. I wanted them to know I was a cloud knight. Always know your enemy. You're so smart. Keep your voice down. These disciples don't miss much. If they discover us, you can trust me with the transcription. I spent over 150 years pen pushing in the seat of divine foresight before I became a cloud knight. I could do this in my sleep. And I listen carefully. I help you copy the text, you cover for me, and I get word out to the seat of divine foresight. Okay. Oh, yeah, you were there the whole time, huh? Take your time. Still your mind. And you're finished. Done. So soon? Let me see. Okay, we got you. Ah. Calm yourself. The initiation is divided into two steps. Sure, but can it wait till tomorrow? I'm supposed oh, to be on it. duty right now. They'll get suspicious if I don't head back soon. No need to worry. The second step is extraordinarily simple. It'll all be over soon enough. The disciples' initiation is governed by the following principle. Never accept who you suspect. No, 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 no. Suspect who you accept. What does that mean, Kobe Bryant? For you two to battle it out. What? Whoever survived. Huh. Transcribing scripture allows men, men, men. To... Whoa, 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 whoa. You're kidding, right? We came here to lengthen our lifespans. No, we aren't forcing you to fight. By all means, refuse. I. Mm, fine, fine, but at least let me prepare. I've never done anything like this before. Fight. Very well, but you'll need to ask your opponent too. Good. Then prepare your. Okay. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Listen, I have an idea that will let you join the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. You and I fight, and oh, yeah. I lose to you. I pretend yeah, that you finish me off. Then you pretend that way we both accomplish our objectives. Oh, um, <clears throat> I've seen your skills. Um, please don't mess up and actually kill me. That's fair. The baseball bat hurts. <laughs> Good. I knew I could trust you. My life is in your hands. So, have you prepared your... Let's do it. Cloud Knight? <laughs> can I get can I over? Uh, I'm ready. Then let's begin. Well then, take this. That was that was a slam. Alright. <laughs> Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. <laughs> Oh, now you wanna see it? What magnificent skill! He was fierce, but no match for you. I'm glad you prevailed. That cloud knight waltzed straight up to us in uniform and asked if he could join. Hardly a convincing spectacle. I doubt I ever could have trusted him. Purple chrysanthemum, blue peach. Bro, I'm in kitchen. What the? What? Uh, uh -oh, bro. You've dealt with. 
a side hustle. Side hustle? <clears throat> Very well. These are... Hmm. This does have its advantages. Our brothers and sisters... As such, this can be your first mission as a disciple. <laughs> you take an active approach to getting yeah. things done. I'll be sure to pass that on to my superiors. In any case, yeah. my hearty congratulations on your admission to the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. From now on, you will be known by the code name Grey Peony. Great. Well, Grey Peony, let's depart separately to avoid attracting attention. We'll rendezvous at a different location later. <laughs> I did a good job playing dead, didn't I? <laughs> Those people are out of their minds. Watch your step next time you're around them. Noted. <laughs> oh, shit. Your skills? You've got a better chance than most. I should report back to the seat of divine foresight. Yeah. Stay safe, friends. Thanks, man. <laughs> This is a weird one. It's took a weird twist. I don't believe in ghosts. Oh my God, that was all up in my ear. Where's the stairs? The stairs are like right here, wasn't they? Right here. <laughs> Not by the realm keeping commission, if you need help. Hello. Oh my god, you make funny noises. Hello. Okay. Why are you here, mushroom? Yeah, I'm a failure as a mushroom! But <laughs> You are what you are, little man. Warp, warp okay. One place we're at. A text. Okay. Green Hibiscus agreed to meet me here, but there's no sight of him. What gives? There's a letter here. What's this on the envelope? Gray Peony. This must be from Green Hibiscus. Oh, bud. Ah, sleepy. The disciples sure know how to keep a low profile. Looks like I'll need to help them complete this mission. If they're looking to intercept mail, I should probably start by searching near Exalting Sanctum's Psycrane stands. Oh. 
What happened to the dragon child? And it's slow. Extractor clean to your guitar. Uh, what's written on this package? Where you're throwing it though? See, <laughs> seems like it's. No, I know. I'm not. I'm not just bla just bla Makes sense. Like just, <laughs> just throwing <sighs> our cookies. What the what? <laughs> Jet. Hmm? Huh? That was interesting. I don't really understand why it couldn't move from there. of Sanctus Medicus. Judging from these urgent instructions, the disciples are aware. I'll use my phone to make a copy and then hand. Nah, he does my time. Ah. Okay. Moon, this is the reliable disciple I mentioned to you. The one time you asked me, Gray Peony. Gray Peony. This I, is I'm, Mauve I'm Moon. Mauve Moon. In exalting it, it was bad timing once when you asked me. It's always bad timing when I asked. It ask. seems you have some impressive skills in your arsenal. Nope, don't like that. How much can you bench? I knew short that the. I like this kid. Like you see, like you've got it all figured out. What brings you to the disciples of Sanctus Medicus? Good. So do I. I used to think determination and hard work were enough to I achieve lie. that. I but I've come I to think realize I, I, I thought during too. my many years as a cloud knight. I realized, so I abandoned well, I my mortal body and became a faithful servant. I, I can't do it. Take this prescription. Through this medicine, you will become like me. You will be able to break the shackles that the devilish archer author has used to chain your... Okay. So the disciple responsible you, you, you for creating yourself. medicinal pellets heard of your exploits. They prepared the prescription for you personally. Some of the ingredients can be purchased at an apothecary, but others will require you to come up with your own solution. Given your strength, that shouldn't pose a problem. Do you not. have any questions? I'm ashamed to admit it, but I once worked alongside those devils. I trained in spear techniques for almost a century. I nearly became a Cloud Knight instructor, but I was trapped in a weak mortal shell. I was never able to... Fortunately, the draft of Draconic Surge, the prescription you hold in your hand, rescued me. Now, everything has changed. Jersene and his pitiful spearmanship are no more. All that remains is a loyal disciple 
a merciful medicus. I'm gonna crack an orange juice. That is a strategy. Wait. You recognize me? Where do you know me from? Your face changed when you heard my name. Mav Moon, sir. We have a problem. I suspect this person may be the agent who's been looking for you. Idiot! What kind of trials are you running? You let what? an agent in They found me? Our ranks? I, I I couldn't have known, sir. I I witnessed this person slay a cloud knight before my very eyes. Detestable. The devilish archer author allows these pitiful mortals to face death without fear. Merciful Medicus has sharpened my senses. Nothing gets past me. A pathetic mortal like you could never understand. In that case, divine foresight devil, it's time for you to meet your demise. Okay. Uh, that doesn't make a lot of sense, but okay. I come in the orange juice. Okay. Don't mess with me. Mm. What, a what the? In the name of land, a will forged in ice never falters. Fighting is meaningless. The truth of life and death is sanctuary. Is but a vision. Break. This ends here. Don't mess with me. I'll end your misery. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Damn. Folded. Oh, mercy of Sanctus Medicus. Grant me a body impervious to steel. The courage of a thousand armies. A strength that ten thousand foes cannot suppress. You think you're a match for me, devil? Your death is inevitable. Surrender, and I'll make it quick. I've no interest in conflict. In the name of Landau, a will forged in ice never falters. Don't mess with me. Who's next? Is that all? Truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. This ends here. A miracle. Just in time. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. You have my gratitude. The will forged in ice never falters. What a headache. Fighting is meaningless. Time for a shot. <laughs> Don't mess with me. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. So Mauve Moon was the agent that Ching Zhu lost contact Just kill them? They're dead? He joined the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. I should go to the seat of divine foresight and tell Ching Zhu. I don't know if this mission was a success or a failure. Your guess is as good as mine, sister. <laughs> what? 
Whoa. What is it? I got a chessboard. Ooh, like a space chessboard. Uh, I'm glad to see you've returned in one piece. <laughs> What's going on here? Is this no, a bow? It is a bow. Like, but it's like the same color as hair. It's fucking me up. Did everything go as oh, but Darwin? No, Darwin can... 30 is a trap. He does the same shit, he just runs out. Don't attendant. worry. Your operation was a success. Although your identity was ultimately exposed, you gained a wealth of invaluable intelligence. On top of that, you managed to get out without a scratch. <sighs> I never imagined that your scene would choose the path of evil. You did the right thing. <laughs> I'm afraid this is how the plague's author operates. <laughs> the the, the, the of power so power dumb. To draw oh, no, 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 I didn't know. Oh, my shit. That shit was hilarious, man. Bro, no, I watched it. My bad. The darkness of the enemy. <laughs> I watched it, dude. I watched it. Like, what the fuck was that? Able to improve its strategy. For, for, no, for no, me too. No, for no, to me too. For all your efforts. <laughs> to me, like, Please, yo, we're good. We're... Accept this reward. Is there anything else you'd like to know about? The prescription you acquired is <laughs> beyond my knowledge. Okay. There are a few reliable alchemists that reside in Exalting Sanctum. <laughs> I'd like to ask you to consult with them on the particulars of the prescription. This will have given that the disciples this, 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 this will have been one of the airplanes I use bro. <laughs> it's about time the seed of divine foresight laid in its net. Compare that to this. Details about the prescription. Feel free to come back and find me anytime. God damn, I clocked out for that quest. Now, wait, wait. I mean, watch this hill. We had these guys. I need you to keep. I, I need you to keep. Track of oh my god! Three. There's so many on my screen. It, it was. Oh, uh, so, Magni and. Uh, why, hello there. Um, Anything? Really, it says three. Uh. So this is official seat of divine foresight business, eh? Then I'll do everything I can to assist you. <laughs> Let's take a look at this prescription you mentioned. Hmm. The... Mm, if this request had come from anywhere else, it would have seemed like a joke. But the seed, I can't understand this prescription. And I imagine that other alchemists won't be able to make sense of it either. I recommend you go directly to the chief alchemist, Lady Don Shu. Lady Don Shu is renowned for her unique line of reasoning. She's proposed several prescriptions that would have been incomprehensible to us if she hadn't explained the pharmacology. Still, those same prescriptions have always been able to produce miraculous effects. Lady Don Shu is a truly gifted alchemist. All the more amazing given her sightless. Oh, no one's like, yeah, no one's commenting. Look, look at these arrows. Look at these arrows. Lady Don Shu everyone, everyone is looking like the front. <laughs> I'm sure you'll run into her if you head that way. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, you're all I have been looking forward to meeting you. What? Everyone does. You're the hero who rescued the Vidyadara healer lady in Exalting Sanctum. I heard from other alchemists you have a prescription you wish me to assess. Thank you. I uh, it, it, it is a A strange and dangerous prescription, but I believe I understand the pharmacology. It involves drawing upon the strength of long scions to attain the power of ascension. The specifics, however, will require further investigation. This will take some time. 
I could hardly happen upon Vidyatara Bone Marrow and test the prescription myself, could I? Leave your contact details with me. When I've completed my yeah. assessment of the... Okay. <laughs> Don't you remember his name? <laughs> That's his Twitter, bro. His Twitter is not fresh. I'm pretty... No. Please leave me alone. What the? What is huh? Is she all the time? What does that mean? No kidding. It's just a picture. It's like one of those messages a kidnapper sends in a horror movie. Huh? That's enough of that. Come on, let's go. Are y'all got horror movies in this world? Oh. Small child. Small gambling child. We'll be fossils by the time you're finished. I heard there was a disaster in the Divination Commission's Delve. I'm surprised you're in the mood to play right now, Ching Chue. Gambler! The sky was gonna collapse on the Divination Commission. The Master Diviner would be there to hold it up. What she lacks in height, she more than makes up for in stuff. That's I fucked up. Anyway, I didn't come here just to play. She and big words from someone hard. that's four foot nothing. Time is It's the place in the photo, all right. Is this a games parlor? Oh, I remember talking to someone who may possibly be facing. <laughs> Isn't this hand a problem? I have the worst luck. Oh, uh, hi there. I can tell just by looking at you that you're the Divination Commission's guest. Oh, I remember this. <laughs> <laughs> Antagonize the small child. I was going to wait for you by the statue, but... Ah! Triplet! But folks from the Realm Keeping Commission descended on the area. It's too loud over there now. Pass! Pass! Uh, so I thought to myself, wouldn't it be better to meet somewhere quieter? Four of a kind! Mm. And wouldn't that be more fun, too? Better to show you the real exalting sanctum and introduce you to a true CM Joe uh, pastime. Celestial Jade! Aha! Victory! <laughs> you, know, you know what sucks? Sergio tweeted that as soon as we played 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 I must apologize for your long wait, honored guests. Wait, why did you just ask me to play MLB when you... Seeing your enthusiasm for this Celestial Jade game has stoked my curiosity. Oh, look. Is that a... It's an ancient tree. We call it the Ambrosial Arbor. It was once the Sienjo Lafu's prized treasure. I didn't know the Skyfaring Commission were history buffs. Not bad. Younger generations usually don't know much about it. It's said that the Ambrosial Arbor is an ancient remnant from where the Sienjo roamed the ether. From a distance, it looks like half a tree stump. But according to records of the early nation, in its prime, it wound into the heavens and from it celestial bodies hung. Meaning? It means the tree was as tall as the sky and stars hung from its branches. So, how big was it? Bigger than the express? Bigger than Herta Space Station? No, that can't be right. Stars hung from its branches. Then how did it fit in the Sienjo? Those are metaphors. You shouldn't take poetry so literally. That's fair. Anyway, it's just a legend. I see this view every day on my way to work. I'm kind of bored of it. Let's go. 
Donc à 1. Just a heads up, please don't go running off once we're inside. Maybe the Master Diviner's guests, but she hates people who don't abide by rules and regulations. Oh, and people who ask too many questions, not to mention... Please, don't push your buttons. We're just here for the questioning. We'll leave as soon as it's over. Let me guess, the gate isn't working? I don't understand. It's never been locked before. And no one told right, me to well, do it. Alright, well, that's already been accomplished. I know the food here sucks, but there's oh, no reason to shut the gate on our guests. What the fuck? Are you really from the Divination Commission? Don't scare me. Master Diviner wouldn't let anything bad happen on her watch. There's no need to panic, what? okay? This isn't the only entrance into the Divination Commission. I know an emergency access. The music's pretty you funny. You secured it. You actually just secured it. Me not getting what in the... Uh... Is this where you actually, come to avoid just... doing work? Yep. Maybe. Ugh, <laughs> She's so short. What's going on? Great. This gate won't open either. The Master Diviner waiting. No doubt she'll blame unreliable Chinchu for messing up once again. I knew I'd offended that Diviner. That's why she sent this girl to help us. Miss Chinchu, if you don't mind, may I take a look? Huh? Oh, no need. Actually, I was just being polite. I don't see why not. Let me show you. This thing is pretty fun. Oh, dope. trouble uh, can't we run around to them for a change what a headache what is yeah, this your radars a paper for they're not what they're doing man Are you playing for the game? Dude, I, I had a fight, paper, and two people. I did a third game. Huh. So you are afraid of me. Who's next? I'll end your misery. Whoops. No, she didn't get enough energy. God, you're so tiny. A large scale Jade Abacus calculation terminal. It's the pride and joy of the Divination Commission. Oh. <clears throat> We've heard the term Jade Abacus a few times now. Would you mind explaining what it is, Miss Chingchu? A Jade Abacus is just. A Jade Abacus. Thanks, man. <laughs> That's a good question, Mr. Yang. It. Might take me a minute to give you an answer. Let me think. The book glimpses into the beyond, describes it as 
Living jade engraved with symbols for divination into the unknown. Just like engraving a seal, the craftsmen of the Sianjo Artisanship Commission carve faint symbols into pieces of jade and then insert them into yeah. machines to get them to operate according to a certain intention. What the? Some jade abacuses are small enough to fit inside bracelets and jewelry. We put the bigger ones into instruments of calculation Great. so we can simulate the future and learn from the past. Take the matrix of prescience here as an example. As long as sufficient information is provided, it can answer questions on anything. From the evolution of natural phenomena to the metabolism of living things. They say the theory behind the symbols was handed down by Noose, the Wisdom Walker. The principles are so profound that in the Divination Commission, only the Master Diviner truly understands them. Other computers. Seems like it. But Jade Abacus does sound a lot better. Besides, ordinary computers don't have cool backstories. Technology handed down from news. Even in Madame Hertz's space station. I never saw anything related to news. Anyway, don't dwell on names. As long as the machine works, what does it matter whether it's a Jade Abacus or a computer? Just like today, would it have mattered if Bai Chue had brought you here instead of Ching Chue? It makes no difference at all. We're almost at the Matrix of Prescience Core. The Master Diviner should be waiting. Oh boy, here we go. I'm sure nothing will go wrong. Diviner Fu, how are things progressing? Oh yeah, I like that guy. Heaven and Thunder Trigrams. A step forward bridges no distance hence. And for those who don't speak Fu Shen? <clears throat> it's an utter disaster. How's that for a divination commission fortune? The matrix of prescience has stopped operating, and the symbols have dimmed. There are Stellaron spirits wreaking havoc inside the commission, and the Cloud Knights are struggling to protect civilians. I want to restore the matrix of prescience, but I have no forces available. And on top of all of that, General, we still have to deal with the Stellaron hunter you handed to us. If that's not an utter disaster, then I don't know what is. <laughs> but your Fu Shen, the seer, the boundless omniscient, bringing luck and avoiding misfortune is your strong suit, isn't it? You don't need to flatter me, General. It's natural for fortune to fluctuate. There's no escaping it. The Divination Commission simply does its best to uncover the good and the bad and then yeah, make first. the right decisions. We have no magical means to turn the tide. Oh, and that is precisely why we need you in charge. When it comes to handling clairvoyant Stellaron hunters, who better than Fu Shen the Seer? As for reinforcements, you didn't think I'd be unprepared, did you? Look. What's up? Just arrived. Master Diviner, I've brought you the guests. <laughs> Are you ready? Oh, it wasn't your order I received. Uh, so general. Even guests are on a payroll these days? Well, since they're here already, I may as well make use of them. That's fair. Entering the Matrix of Prescience without my permission is a breach of protocol. <sighs> Would be an ungracious thing to say in the present circumstances. I admit I'm pleasantly surprised to see you here. Jinchua is often unreliable, but she comes through for us when the need arises. I was waiting for the Matrix of Prescience to resume operation so that you might gain insight into my divination techniques. <sighs> it was rude of me to keep you waiting so long. No need for the formalities. We heard what the General said. No. If you need something from us, just say the word. Very well, then I'll keep this brief. The Divination Commission is currently understaffed. I need your help to restart the Matrix of Prescience of Space Terminals and eliminate the Stellaron spirits along the way. Okay. Yes, but you needn't worry. You have my permission. Xing Chue will accompany you. She'll be in charge of restarting the terminal. As for eliminating the spirits... <clears throat> I have divined our future. 
We are destined to be errand runners. Forever. It'd be like that. What? Which magic word? Uh, the universal one? Please? Oh. Uh, please. Oh, good enough. It pained her. Look how tiny she is. They both are! Team Shui, restarting the base terminals will be your responsibility. Oh. And forget everything you saw and heard. <laughs> Look at it. Look at how far she's looking down. Is this what I get? No reward and a bunch of extra work? It'd be that way. Come on. The Master Diviner wants me to restart the Matrix. Ugh. I worked so hard on getting transferred to the repository. It's the best place to slack off and be invisible. No, I respect that. Now, I actually have career prospects. This is terrible. If I screw it up, they might fire me. But if I get it done right, they'll send me more work. I'm gonna ask more questions next time. I could be playing Celestial Jade right now. All right, all very fair. Okay. Oh, hey. It's been a while, my astral guest. Thanks to you, the Law Fu has successfully brought Kafka to justice. I am truly grateful. There hadn't been a single Stellaron hunter arrest since the Inter-Astral Peace Corporation issued their bounty. <laughs> this is a victory for the Sienjo. Fu Shen's Matrix of Prescience was able to go one step further than Kafka. To maintain the upper hand, I had to keep it a surprise. But I hope this hasn't made you doubt my sincerity. Uh, next time, maybe ease off on the surprises? <laughs> I promise to be more transparent next time. At present, Kafka has no intention of speaking, and the Stellaron Hunter's motives remain unknown. We must rely on the power of the Divination Commission to unearth the truth. Unearth the truth. You mean interrogate Kafka with the Matrix of Prescience? Precisely. The Matrix of Prescience is the Divination Commission's ultimate weapon. It was originally used to calculate navigation routes and predict future events. But the secrets of the Stellaron Hunters cannot remain hidden any longer. I have no choice but to move beyond conventional protocol. We must use divination to ascertain Kafka's intent. Everything hinges on restoring the Matrix of Prescience, which is why I would like you to help Diviner Fu complete the setup. I am eternally grateful for your assistance. All right, back to work. Whoa. Let me see. This is the temporal terminal. Observes the potential of the temporal plane. They say this terminal is designed to retrieve information related to time. Huh? Oh. Oh. That one. That's all. What? Oh, so many of these people dying or not. Yes, no. What was the declared shape?
Oh, it's up there. Yeah. Hate this game. <laughs> Looks like the YouTube play button. That should do it. What? You just matched up those symbols. Is that it? The more complex something is, the more important it is to keep it simple. Don't you think? Oh, if it's so simple, there. why didn't your master diviner come and do it herself? Are we? <laughs> Maybe deep down she just wants to be lazy once in a while. Like me. Rise! Right, Looks busy. Because I'm going out the night. It's bad. What the? I'm waking Oh, early I'd have to wake up. Here we go. What in the, what in the fuck? Oh, what the heck is this? It looks like a walking gate. Take it easy. There's nothing supernatural on the scene. I, I would, bro. I would just have both. It's guarding the Matrix of Prescience. They're stationed at various strategic places. Uh, I feel like it needs a sign saying mortals I'm forbidden older. or something. Are you sure? We're here by order of the Master Diviner to restart the Matrix of Prescience. Friends, I get there. not foes. Friends, not food. Get, get your thumb on All right, well, fuck. Uh, March, you should join the Divination Commission. Quick, do something. What? I'm pissed. Great. No kidding. The truth of life in this sanctuary is but a vision. Is that all? Oh my God! What a headache! Tanky. Time for a shot. Nap time. In the name of Landa, a will forged in ice never falters. I'm okay. This ends here. Don't mess with me. Let's go. I'll free you from your disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. I'll end your misery. What? Is that all? What a headache. Your misery. Who's next? Man, I'm fast as fuck, boy. Just had like four turns of Sila. The truth of life in this sanctuary is but a vision. A sharp scythe needs targets. This must be the spatial terminal. They say this terminal is designed to retrieve information related to space. You probably could have guessed that. There. Done. 
Next. Next. A lot of chores. related darn the karma terminal they say this terminal is designed to establish causal relationships there's so many what the fuck all right well it wasn't too bad i guess and report to the master diviner Stop. well oh my god i can sense the matrix of prescient symbols reilluminating now to interrogate kafka those of you in the core may feel <sighs> impacts are you what does that mean oh this could only go wrong Hi, Kafka. Is this really necessary? I said I'd cooperate with you. I have no interest in the words of wanted criminals, especially those skilled in the art of manipulation. So, say what you will. I'm here to witness the divination of the Matrix of Prescience. The Divination Commission has ways of extracting the truth, and they're far more effective than a conversation. Then please, Master Diviner, Witness my destiny. Oh, ma. Not be wrong. Kafka has nothing to do with the Stellaron, but you. It's you. Huh? Oh no, not again. Absurd. I'd never have thought it. As for yourself, take as long as you wish. You <laughs> must report this to the general immediately. <laughs> Please excuse me. You go ask her. Ah, oh, thanks, Welt. I know you still have many questions for Kafka yourself. All right. Um, Guess that's what I'm doing. Oh my goodness! Look at her. Hi. Hi. What's up? You haven't changed a bit. I'm sorry you have to see me in such a sorry state. Really? Well, that's good. I wouldn't want to affect your image of me. I didn't talk to you on the train because I knew you and I would get to talk alone here. What? Worth waiting for, don't you think? 
You seem to have a lot to ask me. Elio said he foresaw three questions, but they would be the same in essence. If I were to what? hear one of them, I would then tell you the objective of this trip in all its detail. Since you asked one of the three questions, it means everything is going smoothly. Are you ready to hear my answer? That's fucked up. Enjo's Stellaron problem is not directly linked to us. But if you look at it from Elio's perspective, you can't say the Stellaron hunters are completely innocent. We foresaw all this long ago, but chose to remain indifferent until the time was right for us to get involved. Diviner Fu was surprised because she discovered three truths. One, the Stellaron hunters are not enemies of the Sienjo. You know this now, though you refuse to believe it. Two, someone else brought the Stellaron into the Sienjo and activated it. A result of both internal unrest and external aggression. Traitors on the Lafu and enemies from outside want to overthrow the Sienjo. The Master Diviner is in a hurry to find the General, presumably to inform him of this fact. However, that's all the Master Diviner knows, because Elio withheld key pieces of information from me. He foresaw the Divination Commission using the Matrix of Prescience against me. To guard against setbacks, he ensured that I knew only what he wanted the Sienjo Alliance to know in this moment. This is fucked up. As for number three, even <laughs> if I had this dream, the Sienjo Alliance could never have guessed it. <laughs> if the Stellaron hunters aren't the cause of all this, then why are Blady and I even here? We're here for you. Ah! We're already done. Sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? It's no wonder Fu Shen doesn't believe it either. But the Matrix of Prescience doesn't lie. The answer is just that bizarre. The Stellaron Hunters appearing here, Blady getting arrested, Blady me being lured to the Matrix of Prescience. It was all to bring you, the Astral Express crew, to the Sienjo. In the future that Elio chose, the power of the hunt is indispensable. That's why the Astral Express crew had to come to the Lafu and achieve something important for the Sienjo. You had to establish a connection with the Alliance. And that's why I had to trick you into coming here. I needed you to meet the Lafu's general in person and help him resolve the Stellaron crisis. I needed the Alliance to owe you a favor. That way, in the future, at the most critical moment, the Sienjo will offer you their help. What do you think? Surprised? The notorious Stellaron hunters did all that just to make you a hero of the Sienjo? <laughs> Quite the plot twist, don't you think? <sighs> like I said, ah. Elio withheld key pieces of information from me. The future holds endless possibilities. Knowing the right thing at the wrong time could spoil all our hard work. There is only one thing I can tell you about the future. In the best and the worst cases, you will eventually have to face Nanook the destruction. Oh, great! And when that time comes, you will need all the help you can get. It will be a brutal struggle of eonic proportions. Proportions that neither you, nor I, nor the Astral Express will ever be able to reach. In the vast majority of futures, that's when destiny ends. But, if we follow Elio's plan, there may be a glimmer of hope on the horizon. 
You know, even eons can be killed. Oh, Jesus. It's Honkai. I'm currently. Hey, Lorcha. You didn't finish telling us about the propagation. Keep going. It's interesting. So, eons can die, huh? Weird. I thought they were invincible. <laughs> there is no true invincibility or immortality in the world. Such exaggerations are born of the perspectives of ordinary beings. Nonetheless, ordinary beings could not have orchestrated the fall of the propagation. That eon was slain at the hands of another eon. I don't understand. They're all eons. Why do they want to fight? You... Are you really from the Sienjo? Other eons aside, surely you must know the story of Lan and Yausha. Isn't destroying the Eon Yausha the Alliance's cherished aim? <laughs> of course I know. Well, I, I know a little. Aww. My mom made me practice with swords all the time. Why did it say mom? I didn't really go to school. In that case, Let's just change the subject. If you don't know about the feud between the hunt and the abundance, I'm afraid there's just too much to explain. Fine. How's this for a subject? What's in the box? What's in the box? Oh, this one? It is a casket. He is Gold it's Lewis. Casket. More commonly known as a coffin. It's for containing the remains of the deceased. The deceased? Aren't you a merchant? Yes, indeed. This is just part of my job. I was asked to deliver this coffin to the Xianzhou. Ah, uh, I'd quite forgotten. For long life species, death is probably a distant concept. Nope. The Cloud Knights spend a lot of time on the battlefield. Death is a common occurrence. It's just we don't put bodies in boxes. Uh, coffins. In the Sienjo, people go to the Hall of Karma in the Ten Lords Commission and consecrate the names and jade abacuses of the dead. It's our way of saying goodbye. The Foxians and the Vidyodora have their own ceremonies. Foxian soldiers place their dead in star skiffs and then let them drift out into the stars. They call it the returning. As for the Vidyadara, they're more mysterious. They say that when a Vidyadara is very old or has a fatal injury, they turn into an egg that looks like pearl. When the shell breaks, they come out looking young again. That's pretty cool. My mom calls the Vidyadara long scions. When I was young, she told me stories of how the Vidyadara could turn into dragons. Is he? I don't know oh! 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 I see. What do you know? Silent but deadly speaks. Your mother is right. The Vidyadara are long scions. They are descendants of the Eon of Permanence. That was why some, but not all, could turn into dragons. The power was oh, a rare he, Oh, I see. To those who could successfully complete numerous rites and challenges. For the inheritor, it was hard to say whether it was a blessing or a curse. He's a fucking dragon. I've heard the story of Long the Permanence and their descendants. Many myths and legends praise the Eon for a rich and immortal life. But for some reason, the Eon disappeared among the stars without a trace. Almost as if they had never existed, leaving only their descendants. <laughs> life has its limit. 
Even the eons are not truly immortal and will eventually reach the end of their lives. Uh, let me ask you one more question. Do you know the person in the coffin? <laughs> yes. A friend? No. So, uh... A sweetheart? <laughs> Miss, whatever gave you that impression? The individual in the coffin is neither friend nor relative. We met only once. By chance, I made someone a promise, and so I have to run this errand. Let's leave it at that, shall we? I think we've all had enough rest. All right. Us. Oh. Huh, you can't actually control him. Let me through. That's interesting. Interesting. It looks like someone's hurt. Wait. Let's think before we act. This will strengthen our position. What is going on here? Silent but deadly. Locha, let's charge in together. We take them out quickly, we can rescue the girl. <sighs> what happened to us letting you handle it? I've only got two hands. Please, I'll wangle you a prize for your bravery or something when it's all over. Enough. Let's go. Here we go. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking. <laughs> The truth of life and death, revealed in this sanctuary, is but a vision! Eternal sleep is not the end. The dead will return! Whoa. Through, or I'll go through you! That was very cool. And I really wish he had done that before I attacked and ulted on Dan Hyung. So I, I thought you were okay. You're a puppet. Another one. My motor is broken. I can't move. Are you a cloud knight? Good. Take me to the realm keeping commission. 
I, uh... This is very suspicious. Locha, silent but deadly. I'm afraid we have to delay things again. This lady is one of the judges of the Ten Lords Commission. As a Cloud Knight, I must prioritize her orders. I'm sorry. If I'd known, I wouldn't have got you to come with me. You'd probably be there by now if you'd gone by yourself. I happen to have some medical knowledge. Perhaps I can treat the young lady's injuries? Well, it's just... she's a puppet. I think we should just take her to the Realm Keeping Commission? Don't worry, Miss Sushan. Leave it to me. Okay. You might get an aching or numbing Whoa. sensation, but it shouldn't be too painful. Do you think you can hold still? This looks cool. I clicked on some shit. Hold on. Okay, we're good. It won't work. My body is mechanical, not flesh and blood. Be it mechanical or organic, we're still dealing with composite substances. I just hope you'll tolerate my methods. <sighs> Whoa. Curious. How... What kind of medical knowledge is this? Abundance. Ah. Uh. Very Oh, that's good. cool. We, uh... No longer need to return to the Realm Keeping Commission. The mission continues. As a judge in the employ of the Ten Lords Commission, I am forbidden from interfering in the affairs of outsiders. However, seeing as you came to my aid, a word of advice. Leave as soon as possible. I came to address the root of our crisis by arresting a fugitive, a Stellaron hunter. This villain possesses exceptional ship and wields a divine weapon. They are extremely dangerous. If it hadn't been for a strange accident, my wake span might have been cut short. Strange accident? Come with me. Okay. Yes, I got one. I've never seen anything like it. You know, even eons can be killed. <laughs> Are you kidding? That's not what we want. I just want to tell stories from the past. Stories about eons that have fallen. Oh boy. Lon the permanence, Drilla the beauty, Anna the order, Tazeron the propagation, Akivili the trailblaze. Hmm? These names were once known all over the universe. Now they've all but disappeared, leaving behind only masterless paths. And currently, there are three ways an eon can perish known to humanity. One, paths with overlapping concepts will eventually collide, and the broader path will engulf the narrower one. That's how Enna the Order was assimilated by Shipe the Harmony. Two, in a war between eons, the stronger side will annihilate the weaker one. That's how Tazeron the Propagation fell. Under the guidance of the hunt, the Cienjo Alliance travels the universe exterminating abominations cultivated by the Abundance. Aww. So, the Cienjo too are engaged in this process. I don't know. Akavili's disappearance was very mysterious. Noose is probably the only one that can answer that question. After all, Droid Head knows everything. What do you think? Fascinating stories, no? <laughs> <laughs> They're the kind of stories that folks on the straight and narrow would never tell you. Hold on. Any minute. 
minute now. <laughs> it's mm. begun. Oh God. Oh. Let's go, Blady. Two more places to visit. <laughs> oh, ma. Uh, did Kafka escape? Uh, how are we going to explain this to the Master Diviner? If what she said is true, we won't have to explain anything. Hey, did she brainwash you? Game. Hang on. Wasn't this the dead tree Ching Chue showed us earlier? How did it grow all of a sudden? Oh, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Even the long-lived might not witness something like this in their lifetime. I'm so lucky. Such extraordinary energy. It's the Stellaron. Ah. Uh. Mr. Yang, do you mean the Stellaron is making the Ambrosial Arbor grow? Yes. The Stellaron the Cloud Knights are searching for must be causing this anomaly. Huh? Oh, I'm glad I had to do that. Matrix of Prescience. Stay calm, Diviner Fu. The Matrix of Prescience does not lie. The logic you have laid out concerning Kafka makes sense. It has helped me to fill in another piece of the puzzle. I agree there is a hostile external force at work on the Lo Fu. The Stellaron didn't appear out of thin air. Someone managed to sneak it onto the ship. As for the culprits behind the Lo Fu's internal strife, I believe we are dealing with the so-called Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. That shadowy organization of the denizens of abundance. Kafka's revelations confirm my suspicions. You... General, when did you have these suspicions? The moment the planter of the Stellaron revealed himself. The Sienjo has the blessing of the Rainbow Arbiter. And only another Eon Emanator would be capable of sneaking onto this ship without my knowing. We are dealing with an external threat. The Stellaron corrosion continues to flood into the ship. And yet it bypassed both the seat of divine foresight and the shackling prison. There is forethought here. Our enemy must have had access to Lafu intelligence for things to unfold in this way. It is evident now. The Stellaron Hunters aren't the ones behind the curtain. No. As soon as I set eyes on Blade, it was clear to me. But why is he here? And why did he draw the Astral Express? <laughs> that piece of the puzzle still eludes me. Nevertheless, Lady Fu, your intel means the puzzle is more complete than it was before. <laughs> These Stellaron Hunters are a captivating group. Such lengths to get the Sienjo and the Express onto the same track. <laughs> Who would have believed it? General, we must retain all urgency. The Ambrosial Arbor. It's the Stellaron. No need to search high and low. The traitors have planted it in the Ambrosial Arbor's dome, thereby causing the tree to grow once again. 
The disciples of Sanctus Medicus couldn't hold off any longer. The general. Every crisis is a turning point. And look at this small child he's talking to. He's very puntable. Yes. Coming up with a plan again. Of course. I'm sure you have a countermeasure at the ready, Master Diviner. From my perspective, convening the Cloud Knights is a five star you should have rolled for? Why should I? We must head into the roots of the Ambrosial Arbor, expel the Stellaron spirits, and prevent the Arbor's resurrection. I've already got the better DPS for my account. She's dope. She's pretty cool. She does a uh, Madoka Magica fucking rebellion shit. Omnisha provides for the fastest solution. However, sometimes speed is not everything. I have known the Stellaron's location for a while now. So why have I held back our forces? General? Well? You're a scoundrel. Fair. <laughs> Pulling up the grass requires removing the roots. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus have chosen to make their move now. Which means the Cloud Knights have the situation under control and the traitors have run out of patience. Now is the time to capture them all in one fell swoop. Under God. Trust me, if I could roll for all of them, I would. You've been sitting but it's early. This whole time? We gotta be choosy. How will you justify the losses if something goes wrong, General? Please, Lady Lou. I still have forces to deploy. Uh, we were in need of extra hands, and the Stellaron hunters were kind enough to bring us together with the Astral Express. How could I look the other way? Jesus Christ, that's the most down bad thing you've ever typed in my chat. Oh, what's up? <sighs> the general smiling again. Definitely. Look at how short she is. It's my fault. I had higher expectations of the general. Please, we can't keep getting them to do everything for us. Since when did we run out of people in the law Fu? You... Why are you staring at me? Do I need to remind you, General, that the Ambrosial Arbor's access point is a closely guarded secret? Allowing outworlders would be... A violation of the rules and regulations. I would like to remind you, Lady Fu, that the Sienjo comes before its rules and regulations, all the more so in no. times of crisis. As such, I'm about to make a decision that runs counter to those rules and regulations. Oh, uh, decisions plural. <laughs> what a rare pleasure. Lady Fu. He's having so much fun. I hereby issue you with the military tally. The Cloud Knights will be under your control. You will act in concert with the other forces in the approach to the Ambrosial Arbor through the Alchemy Commission Dell. Under my control? You've been eager to discover for yourself what it is to be a general, have you not? Aw, he's giving her a chance! You've never given me the opportunity, and now suddenly... Aw, she's so happy! That's cute. Understood. As you wish. As for our astral friends... What's up, that's me. I hereby formally welcome you all to join our operation to seal the Stellaron. Let's go! Lady Fu will deploy the Cloud Knights, but I would like you to set off in advance. Take a shortcut through the Artisanship Commission and convene with Lady Fu further down the line. Aaron's received, General. Ah, this is very sad. Shout out to the League of Legends players. <laughs> very proud of them for going on strike. This is no Aaron, honored guest. I am merely stating what needs to be done should you wish to help us. You've never really seen us as outsiders, huh? Miss Tingyun. I would like you to continue to serve as a guide for our astral friends. Dr. Ting Yoon, all my homies love Ting Yoon. Oh, of course, General. I am duty bound. The Alchemy Commission and Scale Gorge Waterscape Delves are adjacent to the Ambrosial Arbor Seal. I'd like you to investigate these places. Oh. Thousands of years have passed since the Rainbow Arbiter fell to the Ambrosial Arbor. Most in the Sienjo regard the Arbor as nothing more than the stump of a dead tree. Only those familiar with our history and the ancient texts know of its origin. 
Our ancestors placed the stump in full view of the people precisely to make it seem unimportant. But in fact, they sealed it behind layers upon layers of delve enchantment. Even if one travels toward the Ambrosial Arbor, one will never reach it. Someone brought a Stellaron into the Sienjo and planted it among the roots of the Ambrosial Arbor. They wish to resurrect it and achieve their hidden goal through external aggression. In my opinion, the force that provided the Stellaron and the force that activated it have different objectives. As outsiders, you are unfamiliar with the history of the Sienj long ago. Before the He's got a whole story to tell. Skies, our ancestors lived on the surface of a planet. Like all of you, the Sienjo people at that time were a mortal species. There was a time when the ruling emperor could not bear his temporary existence, or the thought of his life's achievements being lost. Ah, uh, immortality is very important here. The Eleron Haters Club, I like that. ...an elixir of immortality, and focused his power on constructing a fleet of nine ships. These ships would voyage into deep space, where traces of gods were rumored to exist. Did he... succeed? Yes. And no. He succeeded because, after an arduous journey... Oh my god, he's talking so slow. ...eventually witnessed the manifestation of a god. Oh boy. Yao Shou's appearance provided for all manner of unfathomable celestial blessings. However, that doesn't sound so bad. The Sienjo people went on a great adventure and got what they wanted in the end. Right? Oh. Our ancestors once thought so too, but the miracle of longevity was nothing more than a vain dream. What that mean? Lao Fu, for example. Immortality seemed like a beautiful thing. But what followed was population expansion and diminishing resources. Oh my god, the politics of immortality! The immortals lost their humanity and degenerated into mere beasts. After paying the price with blood and tears, the Lafu people finally understood that immortality was not a free blessing, but the beginning of a cruel ordeal. In the eras that followed, other beings that had likewise received Yao Shi's blessings repeatedly attacked the Xianzhou in an attempt to take the sacred artifact as their own. Countless atrocities were committed as a result. That's fucked Many up. The Xianzhou comrades who were lucky enough to survive the wars became stricken with Mara, a condition that immortals are susceptible to. Had it Wait, been for the Enlightenment, and protection of the Rainbow Arbiter. The Sienjo Alliance you see today would never have existed. Yeah, At this point, I, I, I assume you understand the disasters that the resurrection of the Ambrosial Arbor might bring about? Yeah. I Fu Shen to open a shortcut to the Divination Commission for you. Small child, let's go. A step forward bridges no distance hence. Uh, the hexagram was right. The Ambrosial Arbor was felled thousands of years ago. Now it returns to life. The future of the Sienjo is difficult to define. I had long anticipated it. What? Huh? She's not angry? Uh, is there anyone that isn't two steps ahead of us around here? Pursuing Kafka is a waste of time and effort. The Matrix of Prescience informed me of her innocence. Our priority is the Ambrosial Arbor. From the time the Stellaron corrosion began to spread until now, the only reports we've received on the Alchemy Commission have come from oh. colonists and doctors state the Alchemy Commission is where the Sienjo's medical research and production take place. However, due to its proximity to the Ambrosial Arbor's seal, I must make matters worse. The General suspects there are traitors in the Alchemy Commission. The self-proclaimed disciples of Sanctus Medicine. Oh, uh, okay. I understand where we are. And now they're using the location to their advantage. I must take action as soon as possible. He really is a delegator at heart, isn't he? There isn't much distance between the artisanship and alchemy commissions. 
I'm afraid the former is likely also facing imminent catastrophe. The star skiff is ready. I will lead the way. All right, let's go. Oh my God, there she goes. Holy shit, she's fast. Oh my God. She's moving. What the fuck was that? I still have important tasks from the general to attend to. Go carefully, all of you. Uh, wait, wait! Master Diviner, can you divine our fortunes for us? Is there anything we need to watch out for? Honestly, it's a fair question. No need. My omniscience Thanks. has seen that your journey will be auspicious. Everything will proceed smoothly. Uh, are you sure? You don't need to use a crazy device or do more finger counting? Well said. Thank you for your assurance, Master Diviner. Onward. Onward. <coughs> ah, some water. <laughs> What's the delay? <coughs> worried about the, road the water went down the wrong hole. Told you. The hexagram indicates an auspicious result. Don't believe me? <laughs> Fine. Fate is fickle. Better to believe in yourself than look to the sky. Thanks, small child. All right, let's go. at all the people gathered here not a good day for commuting on the lafu the artisanship commission delve should have suspended operations after the stellaron corrosion began why haven't these people taken star skiffs to safety maybe the artisanship commission are just more dedicated to their work the divination commission's diviners aren't exactly a hard act to follow man march is just roasting everyone the day work is work you need it to live. You know, March, adults forget what relaxation means after a certain age. Listen, old man. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Just speaking from the heart, that's all. I think they call that complaining from the heart. Are any of the paths in this world easy to tread? The Artisanship Commission is full of workshops, building state-of-the-art mechanisms, and craftsmen designing brand new concepts. Periodically stirring up trouble is part of their tradition. Entire buildings vanishing into thin air, puppet riots, you get the picture. No, I don't. What's a puppet riot? Like the craftsmen are too afraid to go in, but they have nowhere to run to either. We should take care, benefactors. Something terrible must have happened. Either way, we'll have to go in. Let's ask around first. <sighs> Another locked gate. Time for the old dilemma. Break you could definitely up. climb this. There's four of us. A warm reminder, benefactors, that the Artisanship Commission is as important to the Sienjo as the divination. Our law states that trespassing into the Artisanship Commission can... 300 to 500 years! ...of between 300 to 500 years. Serious violations may result in exile on a barren planet, thousands of light years away. Yes, we do. Still, the Artisanship Commission is filled with security mechanisms. <laughs> Even the General won't be able to save us in time if we get trapped. I'm not trying to scare you. I'm simply suggesting you ask the craftsmen to see if they can provide an ins- It seems more than a little reckless to charge in when we don't know what's ahead of us. Fuck it, we ball! Okay. Hey. 
Gongshu. You're out of here! Master Gongshu. Oh, are you guys cloud knights? No. Nope. Your clothes. Sorry this crisis came during your trip. Yeah, you just need to tell us what the trouble is. <laughs> you mean the general invited you? Is that a joke? If the Lafu has the Cloud Knights, why would he send out some? There's been a serious incident in the Artisanship Commission. Nobody's in the mood for jokes, miss. I'll beat his ass. You misunderstand, young sir. We genuinely want to help. Can you tell us what happened here? There's been some kind of botanical disaster. Uh. It was like an ornamental tree somewhere sudden. I don't get it. The Artisanship Commission focuses on the mechanical. Waiting around, that's what. We ran away. Please, if you plan on living a little long. The worst thing is, my mask master Gong Shu is the most experienced craftsman in the artisanship commissions. When the incident happened, he dragged me, Zeming, and Yuncha to safety. I need to wait here for the Cloud Knight, so I Why did he run that? Project deadline. That's not how it works. The research comes first here. I just heard him shout. It's gone. We lost the furnace. By the t anyway, you said one hundred percent. The general sent us. Uh, you don't have to believe us. The Astral Express doesn't shout about its achievements. We'll look for your master. <sighs> In that case, uh, take this jade. Seat. If you find my master, please bring him out safe and sound. If don't worry, young sir. Your master's safety is our. None of us would be able to. Ah. Uh, uh, let's go. I think this conversation's run its course. Well. Botanical disaster. It must be the Ambrosial Arbor. But what about the furnace his master mentioned? The Stellaron facilitated the resurrection of the Ambrosial Arbor. The severity of the corrosion becomes worse as it grows. <sighs> Look, the roots are coming up through the ground. I'm afraid we've got some gardening work to do. Upon commission grounds, your feet do tread. Leave what the fuck? Dream, or soon be dead. Dead. Stay away. If you come any. Well, that was fascinating. Hold on. Let us explain. We're not. What excuses do you have? Surprise me. I didn't just mean passing this. by. Stumbled in. Door wide open. Within commission grounds today was so an evil spun by hands unseen, unknown. No longer. If the security mechanism is in these robots will. He's a chatty bastard. I'll free you from your disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Golden Cloud Toad. Illumination Dragonfish. <laughs> Are you alright? Wake up. I raised you like my own flesh and blood. Huh. Did you really have to destroy my little friends? Uh, you didn't want to listen to us. We were here to rescue you and you started a fight for no reason. Uh, how do you know my name, child? Is the reputation of Gong Shu Liang, the smelter? Uh, this guy's pretty deluded for a master. We're passing through on our way to the Alchemy Commission at the behest of General Jing Yuan and Diviner Fu. We could... Really? The General sent you? Then this must be a mere misunderstanding. <laughs> uh, don't worry about those things. Easy to fix. But there's not much I can do to help. The Artisanship Commission was suddenly taken over by some evil tree demon. It's Man. our most precious possession. The creation furnace. It's a dark and powerful entity. 
The robots. It was like they gained consciousness. They were moving in a circle around it. I fear approaching it is tantamount to suicide. But then, I couldn't just run away, knowing what lies sealed in the furnace. I'm sure it means I know of may yet serve your fight. Oh. Look, this is one good thing I got the students to take it out and make a few adjustments. You all saw the Jade Gate on your way in, I assume. The shifting screen works in the same way. I did this already. Indeed. Are you sure about that? Even our trailblazing space anchors sound better. Thank goodness you take the time to perfect these inventions, Master. If not, the Skyfaring Commission would have become quite redundant by now. Ordinarily, I could have used this beauty to teleport you thither. But through Earth and air. Oh. The commission is more than a match for Mother Nature. I can't do it. I just can't listen to him. This is the first thing that came to mind. It's a mechanical device, codenamed. I invented this weapon for the Cloud Knights. Let me guess. Limited range, energy costs. Yeah. Every light has its shadow. And then ignite. Fire beats wood. There's True. No way we can lose. I learned that in Pokemon. Wait, what? Okay. Okay, I get it. That's very fun. Very good. The master reveals the door, but the apprentice must. Nope. Don't care. Seems like it worked. All right. There's no time to lose. Hurry through the shifting screen to the opposite side before the branches grow back. That's a big area. Oh, look, the Ambrosial Arbor's roots. No, they've uncoiled the Artisanship Commission's most precious invention, the Creation Furnace. Help me, dear young friend. Ah. Pack them away together. We can't let the roots punt. Oh, careful. It's changing. What the? The fucking Genshin Adeptus. Boss fight. Whoa. What kind of monk? 
monsters this? Miraculous! It creates life at will! Such incredible power! Great. Here we go. Truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Oh, nice. Guarding the Ambrosial Arbor's roots and the furnace. Hello? Yeah, that makes sense. This ends here. What a headache. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. <coughs> Excuse me, chat. Ow. Truth of life in this sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Time for a shot. Nap time. Hope you're prepared. A wheel forged in ice never falters. Look at the deer's feet. There are more roofs coming up. Don't mess with me. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. No. No matter how much damage we do, it just heals itself. Not fair. We'll have to retreat for now. Follow me. Run. The Siencho is so scared of the abominations of abundance. They're unstoppable. Miss Ting Yun, are the long life species on the Siencho all like this? I'm afraid this Ebon Deer was likely birthed by the Ambrosio Arbor as its guardian. It shares a close connection with the Arbor's roots. Most living creatures on the Siencho don't have abilities like this. Huh? As long as it's there. We can't get any closer. I wonder. The Ebon Deer seems to heal itself instantly, but perhaps it's drawing that power from elsewhere. Are you listening to Mr. Yang? The monster only seems to be active in the vicinity of the arbor. Let's look around and see if we can find anything. So the general asked you to head to the alchemy commission. Oh, stop talking. Uh, the artisanship commission had no choice but to halt operations once the tree demon appeared. Young friends, I have a suggestion. Any thoughts, Master Gong? Hmm. What? Oh, great observation, Mr. Gong Shu. It's amazing what you. <laughs> <laughs> As Mr. Yang said. The deer monster is likely drawing power from somewhere in order to replenish itself. I'm certain that when the arbor glows, we are witnessing that very process. Precisely. Uh, you're right. Those roots never grew. Not only that, its reaction suggested we'd hurt it. Perhaps that's our starting point. Take hold of your weapons, young comrade.
Ah. No. I'm out. No, fuck you. Nothing to be seen. Eh? Oh. Uh. Hello? Nice. Oh, didn't know it could do that. Not that way, I guess. Oh, I see. This will strengthen our position. I suspect the ambrosial arbor's root system must have spread far underground. Yeah, it is a tree. Say with confidence, is that a turret before? So the next step is. I really wish this guy wasn't here. You're hunting. Let's go. Back at it. Probably should have. Illusions of the past. Too late to repent. Whoa. Yeah. 
Naughty child. Nap time. Fighting is meaningless. What a headache. In the name of land, a will forged in ice never falters. I'll end your misery. Being enough. I never judge, Justin. Yeah, you made a full ass play, huh? Damn. <laughs> the truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Hey, I'm doing do shit. Don't mess with me, good. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Hope you're prepared. I've no interest in con. Kill it. What a headache. Fuck. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. There's a big deer now. Huh? Peaches? I am kinda hungry. March. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm just saying. March. Get smashed to pieces. This ends here. No peaches for March. Forged in ice. Never falters. Holy shit. Bro, what in the Don't mess with me. Hope you're prepared. Sound is gnarly. Truth of life and death revealed in an instant sanctuary is but a vision. Break. What a headache. Nah, fuck. Uh, kind of trolled. Oh, my God. I really need Natasha to have a turn. What a the name of that could work. Forged in ice. Never falters. Don't mess with me. Yeah. Let's go. Just, just a little something. Think nothing of it. You have my gratitude. <laughs> Fighting is meaningless. The truth of life in the sanctuary is but a vision. Break. What a headache. What? Hope you're prepared. Ooh, my weakness. I have no interest in con. Naughty child. Nap time. Don't mess with me. Beaches. I'll free you from your chance. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Oh my god, the sound is gnarly. Who's next? What a headache. This ends here. Don't mess with the name of land of will forged in ice. Never falters. What a headache. What? Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Time for a shot. That's better. 
Don't worry about me. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Ow. <laughs> just, just a little something. Think nothing of it. You have my gratitude. I'll end your misery. I'll free you from disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Hope you're prepared. <laughs> I don't want him to heal. It's kind of killable. Yeah. This ends here. Nice. General Jing Yuan said the Ambrosial Arbor was an unfathomable celestial blessing. At first glance, that deer could have been an ordinary life form, but the ability to heal such grave wounds in an instant. I think I finally understand why the Xianzhou decided to follow the hunt in eradicating the abundance. If Immortal creations were left to spread their branches and roots throughout the universe. Entire ecosystems would collapse. No wonder the people of the Sienjo wander the universe, never settling on a planet. You are a man of vision, Mr. Yang. It's a shame our ancestors, the Elixir Seekers, were unable to see that hidden curse 8,000 years ago. Perhaps some of them did reject the Plague Author's gift. But how could an entire civilization resist the temptation of immortality? <sighs> Ironic, isn't it? The wise are buried, while the fools remain the immortal. The Sienjo regrets being led astray by the abundance. That's why they have decided to embark on the path of the hunt. Maybe it's not too late for redemption. Thank you for your help. I realize you must continue on to the Alchemy Commission. To the Ambro- Go, friends. And stay vigilant. I wish you a safe journey. Thanks, man. I still hate you. Oh, you're standing right next to me. Why is she texting this to me? You're right there. That was interesting. Young. You're alive. Uh 
Oh, it's old. What the? All right. Sure, I guess. So this is the Lafu's Ambrosial Arbor. It's my first time. Oh wait, they're here. Aren't you a Cloud Knight? Cloud Knights don't visit the Ambrosial Arbor without a reason. Plus, I'm new here. The Lafu's plague mark is a tree, while the Yao Ching's is a moon. <laughs> I think we got the better one. I heard that the Ambrosial Arbor shriveled and died a long time ago. The influence of the Celeron. <sighs> There's no time for explanations. We must return to the Ten Lords Commission. <sighs> I'm wounded. I need your assistance in getting there. Once we get to Star Skip Jetty, you can go your separate ways. Well, there's nothing else for it. We're duty bound to help the Ten Lords. Okay. Ah, uh, sorry. All apologies for asking you to stick with. Um, I guess you could slip away and find a safe spot to hide. Not a smart way to operate. The Lafu is more dangerous than ever. I can't let you put yourself in harm's way. Come on, together is better. Okay. You look familiar. Nope. Hmm. Maybe. I ran yeah. a facial profile against the records in the Shackling prison just now. Indeed. There were no matches to be found. <clears throat> Where's your coffin? I did not expect such a short journey to be filled with so many twists and turns. How does it feel, Master Don Hung, to be a subject of the Ten Lords Commission? A good answer, short and to the point. It would seem I've been unsuccessful. I suggest we hasten to Starskiff Jetty and send this judge of the Ten Lords Commission on her way. We must continue our own journeys as soon as possible. You're here. What? I can't use my map. I don't think this is the way. God damn it. Hey, wait for us. You're the first Ten Lords Commission judge I've met. What do you guys do exactly? Our work concerns the Mara Be careful, everyone. Nope. Huh? Why is there still a civilian Dog. here? I fear not death. For the fate oh, what of the, the Artisanship Commission now, <laughs> not a chance. Aside, escape while you still can. There's no hope of the Cloud Knights arriving now. Don't try to be a hero. Uh, a sigh. Since when were you able to speak? Hey, do I sound like a dog to you? No. <laughs> My apologies. What is going on, bro? No, How? I was confused. I never installed her. But what is the meaning of this? I'm the only one left here. The... You just said there's no hope of the Cloud Knights arriving. I happen to be a Cloud Knight. Wouldn't you call this a timely arrival? Come with us for now. I'll take care of things here later. That won't do. As a oh my God, I thought I escaped them. To unconventional methods. Are you gonna come with us willingly, or do I have to ask the guy behind me to carry you in his white death box? I, I. Can you give me a moment to consider those options? Fair, honestly. Now, move it. Oh, we got the talk back. Let's go. Look at him go. Miss Cloud Knight, why did the general send you out here all alone? The extent of the disaster means the Cloud Knights are short on manpower. Don't worry, I'll keep you safe. Uh, this is as a few more steps and we're at the main gate. It's just a few steps away. 
Everyone has their duties and obligations. From the apprentices fled as they should have. But I can no use in trying to talk me out of it, young miss. This old man cherishes his life. He won't do anything rash. On your way now. There he goes. Our hero. Everyone has their duties. Let's go. So this was before we met with him. Ooh, my timing's fucked. It doesn't look like it wants to let us through. <laughs> I doubt that. I think Atsai is the only one here still taking orders from- Any ideas? Hmm. I've got one. Bring it down. You know, you're getting less silent and more deadly by the minute. I really don't like this nickname. Let's get it. Ah, oh, great. Fighting is meaningless. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break. What the? Not good. In the name of Landau, a will forged in ice never falters. That's better. This ends here. Oh, I didn't get rid of the debuff. Oh, fuck, that sucks. I should have waited. Sea of butterflies, illusions of the past. Thanks. I've no interest in conflict. The truth of life in the sanctuary is but a vision. Break. There we go. So, are judges all loners? You don't seem to have any backup. Judges of the Ten Lords Commission have always acted independently, each carrying out their duty in solitude. However, however, I have a younger sister. You remind me of her. There's the star skip. Oh wait, I really wanted to know more about that conversation. I'm very curious where this is going. The rebirth of the Ambrosial Arbor was bound to bring calamity. The Cloud Knights must be at the Alchemy Commission, next to the Arbor. You should head the same way. Thank you. 
for ensuring my safety on this journey. I will report this good deed to the Ten Lords. And if the opportunity arises, I will return the favor. We're glad we could help. She mentioned the Cloud Knights were at the Alchemy Commission. I should find a ship and regroup with my unit. What about you? Aw, you just can't bear to see me go, huh? Come on then, let's go together. We are most grateful, Miss Sushan. Let's go! Alright. I think this is a good stopping point. It's getting late. Dream, thank you for anyone for hanging out. I appreciate it. Uh, I have time.